Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to do a little bit more on this particular page that we have been coloring for the last, um, I don't know, three parts. So we're going to work on uh, some of these other little ornaments here and um, if you can tell I did some work on the branches over here and I left these branches because I wanted to get some of those done um, because it when I did this little tiny one down here, I didn't show you how it covers up the blue ink on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pencils out for the branches first. And I'm going to color in one of these up here on the ink. And I'll get you down a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I have all the colors written down that I am using for the branches uh, in the little description box. So open that up and you will see. And all I'm doing is taking, um, there are five colors. So I'll show you the five colors really quick. And if I turn them all, you can get all the numbers. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So it's like a espresso, lime peel, um, marine green, moss green, and green ochre. And I just go in and I use, sorry, I didn't mean to make that so loud. Like pick one up and then I'll go through and just color in one pine needle, I guess is what you called it, at a time. This is really close to that color, but you see how it um, covers up the blue ink really nicely and you just kind of randomly go through and color each little needle it's something really good to do if you're like watching another video <laughs> or something like TV and you're, you're you know just pick up a pencil and start coloring because it's a little tedious but relaxing if you're doing something else. So then you just go in with another color and color in about, you know, 20, 25 little needles again. Really, uh, I don't have much of a rhyme and reason to which ones I color in what color. The lighter one, I do like to have the, um, kind of like a top needle and the deepest color, I kind of try to go into the bottom, but after a while, it's just, oh, a light one needs to be here and a dark one needs to be there, so. And then I did notice when I was coloring the other side that there really isn't a branch in here. I mean, it's not drawn. So you kind of have to fetch that also when you're doing this. So like right here, there's no branch connecting those two pieces it's just like these little guys are stuck out nowhere and these guys are behind it so i just bring that branch color into there with a darker um color that i'm using and kind of create my own little branch on top of that i decided i wanted it a little thicker so I did go ahead and uh, bring in some Distress ink. I'll go ahead and put some down here because I didn't show you that the, on the other page. I just wanted a thicker branch. So I'm using the Distress ink um, peeled paint and the uh, mini detail tool here. And I'm just going to pull in some of this green into the area where I want the branch to be and it just kind of adds a nice little green touch and like a third color or fifth color sixth color whatever you want to call it of green that I'm putting down in the um, little branch itself so instead of you know boring you to death while I'm doing the needles in here. 
that's how they get done. Now I noticed when I did the uh, little bit on the other branch, I made it a little dark. So all I did, um, now let's see if I can get over to that page. Hello, mousy. There we go. So I did get a little dark in here, and all I did was bring in my eraser. It's just the little electric eraser. And I just uh, picked up some color. So if I didn't like a spot that got maybe a little too dark, I would just go in with that and lighten it up. So it didn't look so muddy. And then when uh, you look at it farther away, it looks better. So that's how I did that portion. And I'll do this uh, other part off camera so you don't have to watch me do all that work. But we are going to do this little snowflake here. And if I can get you in camera on both of them, I'll do the candy too. Well, the snowflake is going to be done with the indigo blue and the um, light sky blue. So we're going to go ahead and add some of the indigo. Kind of going to do all the snowflakes in these two colors. And you can pick where you want to put them. I'm going to kind of go into the dark areas here on this particular one, where I think the shadow might fall, or where I particularly want it darker. <laughs> Let's try to talk this morning. And then we'll put some in here too. I was asked um, on my last video if I use a blender pen sole to blend any of these colors. And I haven't found a blender pencil that I like what it does. I'll say it that way. I have the Prisma colored one and it's really scratchy. And I don't find it blends the colors. It just kind of, um, how do you say, smushes. <laughs> Sometimes I don't use a very dark hand here, and then when I, um, or a heavy hand, I should say, especially when it's on the um, Distress Ink. And if you're using the uh, tool to try to blend those two colors, it um, just like ends up scratching the paper. It doesn't sound good, and I don't like the feel I get of it. So, you know, if you do, <laughs> if I don't like the feel and it's not an easy thing for me to use, I tend not to um, use it. It's not that I have anything against them. If you want to use a blending tool and you enjoy it, go for it. I've seen people use them, and they, they have really pretty effects. I just can't do it. And coloring to me is fun. I know a lot of people find it relaxing and um, helps them with other things in their lives. I just find it very fulfilling, I guess that's what I'm going to call it. When I see a page and I look at it and I go, ooh, I could probably bring that to life. That's what I like about it. I like how different it looks after it's got a little color on the page. And I like the ones that uh, I've, I've found, I've liked the ones that have more uh, little little things in it that you can color, like um, this one had the m mice, so you color the mice first and then the little ornaments. That's my kind of picture. So it's kind of like a lot of little uh, pictures in one picture. And that's what's fun for me. I'm just going to do this center. Kind of a dark 
and lighter towards the center. And then we just go back in with the sky one. Oop, I missed that one. I missed one. Gotta go back. I missed two. Boy. See, when I get to talking, I can't color. <laughs> There we go. And then we'll do these the opposite way. And the fun part of this picture is going to be um, the fourth part, unless I can get it all done today. <laughs> I have a little more time today. So we're going to be laying down um, the Pasca and the Stickles. And that's going to bring everything. It's going to pop everything together. Okay, candy over here. I'm going to move these pencils of the book. This candy up here is going to be blue. This one's going to be purple. And the ones on the other side are going to be um, pink and purple. There are four candies all together. So I'm going to go ahead, while well, I have these blue pencils, and I'm going to color in this little candy. And obviously I'm coloring this one blue because I got a lot of ink on this one and I didn't want to try to erase it all gone. So we're going to use that to my advantage. And I'm just going to lay down some of the darker in the, um, what do you call it? Creases in the candy wrapper. And give it a nice dark uh, on the outside of this, just to separate it from the skyline. Hope everybody's doing well. Spent the weekend at my mother-in-law's house, helping her get ready for another party. She uh, puts on a few during the holiday season. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's always fun. Some parties, uh, she has a very large um, dining room table. It can seat up to... Well, we've had about 16 people around it a couple of times at Thanksgiving. So she has these extenders that we put in. So there's uh, two leaves and then um, her husband, when he was uh, alive, had made her a gorgeous uh, wood table top that extends the table even out further. And you put it on one end the card table underneath it and then it just extends the table out farther and for some parties she has a large amount of people that she needs the extender put in and then other parties she needs it taken out <laughs> and it, it gets stored um, downstairs in the basement so we go over and put it up and take it down and we do that quite a lot during the season. <laughs> and then we um, will decorate the table too, so it's pretty fun. And then I'm just gonna bring that color down like that. And any places I want darkened again, we just go over and bring some of those lines back up. And darken those a little bit, but not too much because I'm going to go in there with either a gel pen or a Posca and highlight those a little bit more. Okay. 
So what kind of traditions do you guys do during the holiday seasons? We're going to um, be making cookies and fudge later in this month. Every year we get, um, I make crumb caca. I have an iron and we have to bring that over for Christmas. And then we um, make my dad's fudge. And we make a batch um, <laughs> without nuts because I can't eat walnuts. And then my family has gotten used to eating it without any nuts in it. But everybody else likes the walnuts, so we make a batch of those too. There we go. So basically that's the coloration of that one. And what color did I say I was going to do this one? Pink and purple on the other page. We could do this one in red. Make a red one. I think the green would match too much with the, um, I'm trying to find the pencils. <laughs> match too much with the, the green in the branches since I'm using so many different colors. Okay, so we have the raspberry and when we need the rose pencils, and I'm trying to get those out. We got rose. Clay rose, here we go. Okay, so it's the black raspberry, the clay rose, and the pink rose. So we'll go with the black raspberry and put it in the dark areas like I did before, or on the other candy. Just thought I'd do a couple of these candy wrappers. Show you how they were done, or how I do them. Put some wrinkles in there. They'll have a little bit different decoration. I'm just going to bring that down a little further. Sorry, concentrating on the coloring here. Alright, then we're going to go in with the, um, the clay one, clay rose, and kind of blend that all, leaving a little white space for the pink. Now the pink coming in. And then we'll go back in with the dark and darken it up. Okay. 
And there we go. I haven't decided on the um, bows yet either. Yeah, I really should figure that one out. Oh, excuse me, something made a loud noise. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> don't know what went bang, but um, you know, mysterious sounds always freak me out. I'm gonna go ahead and do these in red. I know the candy cane is kind of in red, but I'm gonna try something here, and if I don't like it, I will erase it or change it. Isn't that, that's how I work, <laughs> sorry. So we're gonna go with um, raspberry, dark raspberry, and black. So the uh, raspberry is going to be my lightest color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in here very lightly. So this one I'm going to work with the lightest color to the darkest. Just because I'm not sure how this is going to work out. <laughs> And it's a lot easier to erase the light than it is the dark. Okay, so we're just going to lay down a real light layer of this all on the entire bow. Maybe leaving a highlight in here. But I can always put that back in with a white. There, pretty bow, huh? <laughs> okay, then we're going to go in with the um, black raspberry and kind of make some darker areas here. Putting it where the um, bow creases. And in the shadowy areas. And on the tips, I'm bringing it up. And again, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just kind of going, hmm, do I like this? <laughs> So far, I'm okay with it. And the tip's down here. The black is going to be the deepest colors, just in the creases. And to accent the um, lines that are already there. And that makes the center bow stand out. I'm going to bring in a little, whatever pink this is, deco pink. 
And I'm going to bring that in. We might have pink bows. It's kind of a pretty color. Now, do I like the pink? <laughs> kind of committed now, so to the other side, a little pink too. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Use that as our highlight. Okay. And then I'm going to go back over with the uh, raspberry and darken up any areas. Just using a little bit more pressure on this color. And then we'll bring in the raspberry at the end, or the dark raspberry, sorry, black raspberry. And this is how I will do all the bows. So if I was putting it on my tree, I would have all the bows the same color. <laughs> Got one of my kitty cats. Uh, they like to um, play with the candy canes, and one in particular would go nuts when I put them on the tree and try to get every single candy cane down and then peel them and eat them, which was not a good thing for <laughs> my house or my key. So you didn't munch down the plastic. So after that, candy canes were never allowed to back on the tree. <laughs> so I'm just going to darken up. Then I'm going to bring in the black and I'm going to redo that also. So just dark where I think it needs it. And any of these edges that I fuzzed out of, I will just use the eraser. And that's looking pretty good. Back down in the tips, accentuating all the lines. 
That blends really nice with the black raspberry. And then just a little bit more, a little red raspberry. And I'll bring in the pink again. I didn't bring any black in here, so I'll have to bring that in too. And then just a bit more of the pink here. And I'll just play with this until <laughs> I like the blending. But basically, that's what my bow's going to look like. So, all the bows will be done the same way. The snowflakes will all basically be done the same way as the other one. So, there'll be the dark blues coming out and then the tips coming back in, leaving the outside white. And there are only two more of those. Two more candies, and like I said, this one will be purple and one will be, well, let's see, maybe I'll do one in red, I don't know, but we'll find that out, but they'll all be colored in the same uh, manner, um, basically with either one or two pencils, and if I'm using the same colors that are on here, you'll know the color palette, uh, I'll leave it in the comments below. So I can do probably, um, hmm. oh, that's a, I think, oh, we were going to do the little gems. I have to do the gems on the uh, mice. So we were going to go, each one of them, I'm sorry, you can't even see. Each one of these little guys have got a little gem on them. So two of them have them on the heads and one of them has it on a necklace. So I'm going to purple down here, and we can do blue and yellow. I'm trying to think in my head so I don't mess up the color combinations on the page. I'm going to do this guy up here, and we're going to do him in the two-tone blue with a tiny bit of yellow. How we're bringing in, and yellow kind of goes with the... Um, green. 
because <laughs> blue and yellow make green. I'm going to go ahead and put down, and this is the indigo blue, and we're going to darken it and kind of just bring it up on one side. I believe these are supposed to be uh, shine marks. So this one's going to get the blue crystal gems, whatever you want to call them, cabochon round Christmas ornamentation on. <laughs> little guy's head. And we're going to put, um, yes, this is canary yellow. Tiny little guy, isn't he? But we're going to put him just where the sparkles are supposed to be. And those blend in really well together. And then we're going to use the uh, light sky blue for the light part. And then go back around with the indigo to darken everything up. And there we go, we have one with blue. I want this side a little darker. Okay. Um, the little guy down right here. <laughs> We're going to give him a little yellow collar. Put some orange in that, make it kind of gold. He's got a holder on his gem and we're going to stick some of that yellow in there also. And a nice little orangey color. Ooh, a dark orange. My pencils are not the best shape here. What do I got? Okay, we're going to put a little red in there. Gosh darn. Hit the camera, sorry. This is poppy red. We're just going to put some of that in there. And then we'll add some of the brown. And his little gem is going to be the purple color. So, purple was the violet. Oh. Well, we'll go with gray lavender here. We'll put that in first. This is the first pencil I picked up. Then I have to find the black grape. So I'll put the black grape in here. And then the lilac, kind of up here in the shaded area, or lighter area. So there we have a purple. I need a little brown to have in the brown area here. Mm. Green ochre's kind of got a brown tint, so we'll add some of that in there. Kind of cool. Add just a little bit more of the canary yellow to brighten that up. And he now has his gem. Okay, the last gem would be over here. Boom, boom, boom. And we're going to do his kind of uh, pink colors. So I'll we'll go ahead and put in the 
canary. Go in with the black raspberry. of the pink or um, regular raspberry. We'll do that one first. I think that looks pretty good. Going with the um, black raspberry and just blend a little more in there. And then just a bit of the canary. There we go. We're going to add in Pasca on all those so they will look a little bit better. So there we got the gems, and over here we're going to do the bows all like this, and the um, candies are all going to be colored basically the same way, just in a different color. And I will finish the branches, and then we will come back and add all the fun stuff. So I guess this will be one more video. <laughs> so I will see you in, I believe it'll be part five. Take care, everybody, and thanks for watching. Bye now.